use any tele any materials okay it's an important materials i have i am sending to this location all right i'm just gonna say it's dangerous chemicals don't open i'm gonna put a sticker on it a mr yuck sticker come near to the computer give you the address where you have to go right now and if you not go right now then i'm going to take out all the money from the bank account then you're going to lose everything what you have you can also show me your credit card and i so i yes i get do that hey everybody thanks for watching the show we have a great one for you today i just want to give a quick shout out to all the patreons here and all the youtube members go ahead and join up and uh help support uh it's been just incredible look at all these people thank you so much join join in uh, we have we have it starting at 99 cents and and up so so much love to everybody thank you so much and and enjoy the show thank you for calling customer support how may i help you was trying to reach Norton. I got an email. It, it says they were going to charge me three ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, so could you please confirm me that? Are you near your computer right now for that cancellation? I'm in front of my PC right now. Okay. So just turn on your Google Chrome screen. Just try to open up that Google Chrome. Okay, madam. We have successfully received your refund request. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to simply send you a IBS transfer, okay? So do you know what is the meaning of IBS transfer? It's the meaning of Internet Banking Secure Transfer. So what you have to do, you have to just log into your bank and check that have you received any options over there or not? Am I decline my money from the Norton or I accept my money from the Norton? So you have to just give a click on I accept my money from the Norton. Where do I see that? I was checking my bank before I called you, and I didn't see it. So you didn't see right now your any options over there, okay? Right. It just says Norton Charge. So what you're going to do, madam, uh, I have to... Okay, madam. So I have to transfer this call, one of my billing department, okay? Okay? So just talk with him so politely. Just talk with him. He will guide you properly, okay? Just bear with me. Hello? Uh, yes. All right. Um, thank you for holding the line. This is James, and I am the senior financial manager. How are you doing today, madam? Well, I'm okay. I... All right. Okay. So no need to worry. I'm not going to take any much of your time, madam. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, you know why you have been connected to us, and as I can see that your refund amount is $399. Point ninety nine cents, right? Right. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do without wasting any much of your time, I'm just going to transfer the money in your account. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do, you just need to write down the available balance of your checking account. What computer you have? Okay, I got it. You done? I got it written down. Yeah. Right. Now, let me provide you the refund, ma'am. So, what can you see right now on your computer? It says, please wait. Security updates are installing. Right. Do not turn off your system, right? Okay. All right. Once you can see your screen, madam, you will be getting a black screen with the World Bank refund portal. All right. Now, once you can see that, do let me know, madam, okay? I just see it's updating. Oh, something happened. I see something different. All right. What do you see? Do you see the black screen? Uh, yes. On the yes. left-hand side top corner, it's showing you World Bank refund photo. And you can see it's asking your name. So you need to type your full name. Do not press enter. Okay. All right. Okay, now you need to type the amount, and as you know that your refund amount is $399, madam. So this amount which you are going to receive in your checking account in two parts, madam, okay? So the first transaction which we are going to uh, send it in your checking account, which is $199. 
now once you are able to receive this hundred and ninety nine dollars after that we are going to give it back to you the rest of the money which is two hundred and nine dollars point ninety nine cents okay wait okay so I'll get it back I'll get it all back all back but in two parts okay okay so first you need to write down your refund which is hundred and ninety dollars first transaction it's which is hundred and ninety nine ninety dollars hundred and ninety dot ninety nine or just dot yeah. zero zero dot zero zero you need to type it properly do not do any mistake as soon as you type the amount that money is going to be credited in your account so have you typed one nine zero dot zero zero no uh, i typed out one nine zero and then there was extra zeros put on there i i don't know i'm getting confused i thought you said it was 399.99 and right now as i can see that you made a mistake it says 19,000 transferred on my checking account. How much? 19,000. Oh my God, ma'am. Have you made a mistake? I told you to type 190.00. The first time or the second time? Because we, I think Ma'am, forgot uh, about the first time. I told you the first time it was cancelled. You haven't done it properly. When I told you to type 190, you press too many zeros. Okay, and the money which you got credit in your checking account of hundred and nine like nineteen thousand dollars. Well how Instead much of uh, 190, I typed it up the way you told me to type it. Mom, I think that you made a mistake. You got transferred nineteen thousand dollars in your checking account. I think so. So you do I... one thing, you can log in. Yeah. You just log in your online banking and see that you receive this money in your account or not. What do you see on your computer? I see uh, I see my bank and it looks like they, your company uh, transferred me the 19,000 like you were saying. Right. So you got transferred $19,000. But my mouse and doesn't work. Huge, mom, as you got transferred huge amount of money in your checking account that's the reason your computer is freezes up right now because i want my money back which you got credit in your checking account okay how far are your bank from your house how far is my bank i i can just call my bank and just reverse that transfer is what i'm starting to think you don't have i could just transfer it to, uh, out of my bank and put it back into yours you don't have to ma'am you don't have to you don't have to call up your bank. I want you to do this physically by visiting to your bank, okay? okay? You need to go to your bank and you need to do the wire transfer. And you don't have to send me the whole $19,000 because out of that 19000 you need to keep your refund amount, which is $400, okay? How do I, how do, I do that? For that, I need to provide you my bank account information, okay? As soon as you got the information, after that, you need to go to your bank and you need to do the wire transfer, all right? You need to send me the $18,500, okay? okay? $18,500, you got extra, you need to send me the $18,500. And then I extra, can, uh, you got after I... After I go to my bank, mm -hmm. I can just put that money back into your company's bank. Yes, I, I I need to explain you how you are going to send this money to us, okay? Okay. All right. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to close your bank page first, okay? Can you see I have closed my portal? I see that. And after that, I'm going to explain you what you need to do and how you are going to do the wire transfer. Have you ever done a wire transfer before? Yes, I have. I've, I've done a wire transfer to California. But this time you need to do the international wire transfer, ma'am, because the money which you got credit in your checking account from our head office branch. And we are having our head office in Hong Kong, okay? Have you heard about this country, Hong Kong? I thought that was China, not, isn't it uh, China? Yes, 
Yes, it's in China, Hong Kong. Okay. See, I, so you I need can't, to do uh, that. I don't trust the communists. Mm -hmm. I, I can't transfer that money to a communist country. You lost it's not your a mind. Communist, it's a communist country? Yeah, there's commies everywhere in that country. Yeah, it doesn't matter, ma'am. Yeah, you got the money in your checking account from the communist com country. So you can send the money to our head office branch. What are you, some kind of communist? No, it's not, ma'am. We are not. I'm in U.S. right now. So why are you supporting communism? What's God? What's I'm wrong not with you? Supporting them. It's a company, okay? It, but it's not that worst. I'm supporting communist country. You just wanted me to transfer all your money to that country. That doesn't make sense. Yes, but you got this money transferred in your checking account from our head office bank account. What so I need of, to put the money. What kind of an American would want to willingly transfer 19000 to some commie country? You tell me. But you are sending this money to our account, not the con communist uh, country bank account. We are having a bank account in, China, in, in, in Hong Kong. So you are sending this money in our bank account, okay? Okay. I'll, I'll think about it. You want to think about that? Yeah, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to call my bank okay, and see if do. they can just transfer it back over the phone. And if they can't, I'll have to go do down one thing, there. You can log in. You can log into your bank account and we can do it by online, okay? Just log in. Oh, that would be so much better if I could just do it uh, yeah. without leaving my house. Yeah, I will. I will do that, ma'am. Just log in, log into your bank account. Uh, are, are you there, James? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Uh, my my bank account says zero. It, it says zeros. Right now. Did you close the that portal on time, our... or what happened? That portal I no, was open our... on my PC for too long, and that look what happened. All right, that means our World Bank, they have freeze your account and they have taken out all of your money from all of your account. What's that? Right now, your account, what? our World Bank, money. they have taken they have taken out all of your money from your account, ma'am, because why you have denied I... to send my money. What's that? Because you have denied. I didn't deny. I it's... said yes, I'll do it. I thought you said online it was going to happen. Yes. Yes, but you were telling that it's a communist country. You were trying to make us stories and everything. That means you were giving us an excuse, okay, that you were not, you don't want to do this. I don't want to send my money to the communists. Look what happens. They drain not your, your account. money, ma'am. That's not your money. I want my money, whether it's a communist country, doesn't matter for you, for us also, right? You don't have to think this much, this thing, all right? The matter I know is what that, ma'am. It's the portal. I want... It was that portal that you yeah. opened up on my PC. And then they took all my money and yeah. they sent it to China. I, I understand I, I, that. I understand. I'm calling the FBI. I can't do this. I can't. You do whatever. Do. You do. You do. I'll hang up on his face. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yes, I'm Hello? here. Hello? I, I can hear you. What, what happened to all my money? I will give all of your money back, ma'am. My intention is not to take your money. Whatever I did, just to realize you, what will happen if you don't have any money? All right? Well, so you that's got the reason all my money. What I did, I all have... my money is gone. You're going to get promoted now. The communists I will like give to steal all of everybody's your money. money. And look at what happened. I am. I, I let that World am... Bank portal on. My... Where is the World Bank? Is that in China? Yes. I should have knew it. I should have knew it. Now, I am ready to give your money, madam. I'm not going to take any any money from your account, right? But, ma'am, I want my money also, which you got credit in your checking account. And I want this money as a legal way. And I'm providing you a legal process, okay? Okay. And I don't want you to discuss anything with your bank. What I want you to do, you just need to go to your bank. You need to tell them exactly the same thing, whatever, whatever I'm going to explain you, all right? Okay. Now, with my instruction, if you are going to tell them everything, 
they will do the wire transfer successfully and everything get done today itself okay okay and i don't want you to discuss anything with your bank whatever happened ma'am because see if you are going to discuss with your bank that you got the extra money from the norton so what your bank is going to do your bank is going to inform to the irs now once the irs get involved on this they are going to charge you a tax of 20% of that amount okay because i'm working with the communists the irs doesn't no, see that not. too kindly uh, it is not communist ma'am we are not communist people okay you're the communist you're just working with them you're just as good as they are ma'am the company is in us have you heard about norton if you are going to find out where the norton company is you will see the norton is in us right norton company the norton uh, company is in hong kong i thought you said it's in china Ma'am, we are having a head office. Head office is in Hong Kong. All right. Right, the communist. Can you see Norton Abrasive, North America company? Can you see that? It's I in see North that. America. Can you see the head? Can you see the Norton company name? Can you see it's in it's in U.S. Madam, right? Right, I see that. So why do you, why the hell are you having me send it to the commies? Mom, because I want to save your tax. It's a tax-free oh, country. No, no, I'll I'll pay my tax. That's fine. <coughs> How much is the tax? I don't want to. It is going to cost you six thousand dollars tax. That's fine. I'm proud to be an American. I'll pay the tax. I want to know one thing, ma'am. Are you going to send my money or not? Yes or no? Yes. What choice do I have? I have to do it. Yes. So, yeah. So you need to do this wire transfer with my instruction. But, you don't have to discuss anything with your bank, okay? But the Norton is going to get shut down if they find you trying to evade taxes. No, it is not going to be shut down, ma'am. No need to worry. You don't have to think this this things, okay? No, you're going to get shut down. Much. The IRS is going to yes. slam the door on your face and say, pay your tax. It is not, ma'am. No, it is not. We will take care of everything you just to make IRS sure that you don't... You owe 6000 and I owe them 6000 I'm going to pay my side. What's Norton going to do? You don't have to pay from your side. I am going to provide the solution that how you are going to send this money okay the final solution yeah I'll, i you will know, provide you say you're not a communist but... but then you open your mouth are you sure you're not a communist mom what kind of thing you are talking ma'am i don't know you're you talking... have any idea what you are telling do you have a brain or not ma'am what i'm trying to tell tell you well, I, you're talking about a lot of crimes against humanity in the same... Oh, never mind. Uh, what do I have to do? Can you just tell me what to do? Just hold on for a moment. Let me hide a word with my accounts department, okay? Just hold on. Okay. Okay, so you ready to go, ma'am? Can I give you all the details to you so you can send back this money? Yes. Do I have to jot it all down? Yeah, sure. I will give to you. Just give me a moment, okay? okay. Just be with me, okay? okay? And be near to the computer. I will uh, giving to you all the details into your computer. And also, I'm just going to print out for you, okay? So you can just go to your bank and make a wire, okay? Okay. Yeah, just give, hold for a second, ma'am, okay? And how much you have to send? I think it was 15. Can you tell me that? It was like 19,000. It's 18,500. Remember the amount, okay? I'm giving to you all the details in your notepad. Just give me a moment, okay? Okay. Okay, just hold on. Okay, ma'am. Uh, first, what to do, ma'am, okay? I'm just going to finding all the details, okay? It will take some time to get all the de account details. So what you have to do right now, uh, how far is your bank, ma'am? Can you just let me know? Oh, it's... Uh, how far is? 
It's like 17 miles. Okay, not an issue. Oh, what you have to do, oh, you have to go to your bank, okay? And you should have to withdraw the money, okay? Uh, it's 18,500, okay? okay? And after withdrawing the money, you should have to let me know, okay? So I can give you all the details how you have to send back this money, okay? You got that? Well, I have to send it to Hong Kong is what uh, James said. Yes, I will let, let you know that, okay, because it will take some time to get all the details about the bank, okay. So, what you have to do, okay, between this time, you have to go to your bank, okay, and just leave the house right now, go to your bank and withdraw the cash. And the cash amount, what you have to withdraw is 18,500. First, okay. Matt, what to do? But I'm not, I'm not taking out 19,000 out of my bank account. I can tell you that. How much you are going to withdraw? I'll wire transfer you every single penny that, that I owe your company, but I'm not going to uh, take it out of my bank Let account me... and go walking down the street with it. Have you gone mad? No, no. I'm 82 years old. No, I no. can't just uh, take out 19,000. That, that's, that's why I'm telling you, you have to withdraw the money okay come out from the bank okay and let me know so i can give you the details how you have to send this money no i'm not taking the money out okay. of my bank and putting it in my pocket there's okay there's dangerous crackheads in my community they smoke meth and they okay. smoke crack and they get drunk okay and they sit around and okay. uh, they start fires in the dumpster i'm not gonna get oh. uh, get all that money and go walking around all these Riff okay, I I, okay. Can I give you the wire details to you so you can make a transaction? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. Let me uh, let me uh, ask to my account department. Just hold for a moment. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Okay. I just talked to my account department. They told me that uh, like you should have to withdraw the money. And after withdrawing the money, you don't have to go anywhere. Directly, you have to come home. After withdrawing the money, come inside the car and just come home. Okay? Well, well, you don't well, have uh, to go anywhere. But what do after I do with the money, the money after that? that I, I can't just bring that I, I will back you know. at my place. No, no. No, no. I will let you know that after we're drawing the money you should have to come home i mean they will after this i will give you all the details okay you should have to come home first okay and withdraw the maximum amount like how much they're going to give you you have to ask for eighteen thousand five hundred. okay if they not give you that much up you have to ask for them like how much i have to withdraw. like i need maximum amount like the 10 to fifteen thousand. for well, I don't know what you want. You said to just go get the money out and come back at my place with 18000 but that sounds dangerous. Yes. I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm, I... No, no. After, after withdrawing the money, after withdrawing the money, when you come back home, okay, I give you the FedEx address, like UPS. You know about this? The, the, the shipping company? Right. So I just have to send it to when you. When you come, you're right. That's great. After withdrawing the money, when you come back home, okay, with money, you have to put all the money in the box and rip it properly, okay, pack it, the box properly with the black tape, all the foil papers, okay, and then you have to go to the UPS area okay and from there you have i'm going to give you my address so you can send back to me this money and then i you got that what should i put isn't that dangerous to put that kind of money in the mailbox no it's not that's why i'm telling you you have to put all the money in the foil paper so nobody uh, know about this like in this box have money and also you don't have to tell to the ups person like in this box have money so that's why i'm telling you first ma'am you have to go to your bank withdraw the money okay and after withdrawing the money you should have to come home okay 
कम होम एंड लेट मी नो लाइक जॉन येस आई हैव मनी एंड देन आई एम गोइंग टू लेट यू नो डेट हाउ यू हैव टू रैप द बॉक्स प्रॉपरली हाउ यू हैव टू पुट द मनी इन द बॉक्स ईच एंड एवरी थिंग ओके I'll 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 yeah, go ahead sure. and uh I have to get dressed up. I'm not even ready to go right now. But no I... problem. I'm take your time. Take your time. I'm holding this time. Do not be hang up. And also, you should have to let me know. I am talking to you in your phone, in your cell phone. Yes, I'm on my cell phone. Okay. Okay. So what you have to do? Put me on the loud speaker. Okay. Because when I say hello, so you can respond me properly. Okay, and you have to go and dress up, and when you are ready to go, let me know. Okay. Oh, okay, John. Uh, let me set the phone down okay. and get get dressed up. I'll be right back. Sure. Take your time, ma'am. Okay? okay. I'm holding this line. Uh, uh, I'm ready to go. I got dressed up. Okay, you are ready to go. Okay, ma'am. So now listen to me. When you are in the parking area of your bank, you have to let me know. Okay. What's so that? I can give you a some instruction. Well, when I have you to go to my bank and room. I have to explain this at the bank, don't I? No, 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 no. You don't have to explain. Don't oh, have to explain. I thought you, you said have I had to... to explain this at the bank. No, 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 no. The, no, no. Listen to me. What to do? When you are in the parking area, okay, in your bank, you have to let me know. That time I will explaining you again how you have to withdraw this money. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me just uh, should I shut down yeah. my PC before I leave my place? No, no. Because no, no, it's, just uh, leave it, ma'am. Just It's just a black screen. No, no just leave it. Uh, just leave it, okay? Just leave your computer as it is, okay? Don't touch it, don't be shut down your computer, just leave it as it and just go to your bank, okay? Oh, okay. I'll just leave it like that. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, John? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm at the bank. Okay, just come out from the bank first and just let me know. No, I'm not inside the bank. I'm in the bank parking lot. Oh, you're not inside. Okay, that's good, ma'am. Should okay, I go inside so the I will bank? Do, uh, what should I do okay, inside? Okay, okay. I will let you know, ma'am. I will let you know. Okay. Because let me I transfer this call the, to the uh, James. Okay. They will explaining you better than me, like how you have what you have to do into your bank. Okay. Oh, okay. Just give me a moment, okay? Hello. Yes, this is James. Yeah, ma'am, this is James. Okay, so you are okay. at the parking lot of your bank. Yes, I have right? to go transfer the money back. Simply go to the bank, withdraw the cash of eighteen thousand five hundred. Okay. And that's it. Withdraw the cash of. Yeah, and if they will give you the eighteen thousand dollars, all right, get the cash, come out from the bank, and let me know that you got the cash amount, all right. And after that, I will let you know what you need to do with that cash. Okay, simply get the cash, come out from the bank, and let me know that you got the cash amount, all right. Okay, okay. Uh, just hold the line. I'll I'll go in right. the bank and do this, and I'll come right back. Yeah. Yeah. Take it down. Now we see in your computer screen. Hello? Uh, John. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I got the money. How much you have? Eighteen thousand five hundred. Okay, they give you a cash. Yes, I have it all in cash, and I'm really scared. I thought uh, they wouldn't do okay, it. No, don't be scared. No, don't be scared. Like, uh, is the, they give you a hundred dollars? Uh, the amount of uh, fifty dollars. Right. They gave it all to me. I have it in an envelope in my purse. Okay. Okay. Just uh, don't be scared. Okay. Just put in your purse and come inside the. Uh, Porsche. Okay, come inside the car and first come home. Okay, first okay. you have to come home. Yeah, I'm holding this line. Don't be scared. Okay, don't tell okay. anything. Don't be talk to anybody. Directly come home. Okay. Let me know. Hello. Uh, John. Uh, yes, ma'am. This oh. is James. Oh, James. Okay, I got the money and I'm at my place. All right. So you are at your home now, right? Right. 
okay now what i am going to do okay i'm just going to help you out that what you need to do with that cash and how you are going to do that now you need to take out the cash from your purse okay what what do you mean i have i have it in an envelope in my purse okay first you need to take the pictures of the cash i'm sorry i just don't have time for all this i i have okay, to i right. have to take my medicine i have to So oh, you have my, to take your medicine. I have to so feed my dog. So why not you can have, you can I have take to do a lot of stuff. You right? just Okay, I understand that. I understand that. Now I am telling you what you need to do with that cash, okay? I'm writing it down the steps. Okay? You need to get a envelope. All right. And you need to get a foil paper. Do you house? Your phone keeps breaking. I I can't hear you. All right what i am telling you ma'am you need to get a envelope all right envelope you need to get a two envelope do you have a envelope james yes ma'am your phone keeps breaking up can can you call me from a better phone line okay all right do one thing you can hang up the call and once again call me back okay on this number okay. hang up the call and call me back on this number all right jesus Hello. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me properly? Yes, I can hear. All right. So you got you got you got the box packed, right? Yes, I did. I just don't have gift paper, and so I use newspaper. You use newspaper and you wrap it that box, right, with the newspaper. Right. It's really good. And have you It's it's wrapped in aluminum. Put, it's it's wrapped in foil and it's also wrapped okay. in um newspaper. It's an alu Okay. You have you put in have you put the newspaper inside the box? Uh, yes, it's it's packed in there really good into the shoe box. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So you need to get the box, okay? And then I'm going to write down the information. that in which name you need to send that man that box okay okay that i'm writing it down the name where you need to in which name you need to send that box the name is have a look ami so what you need to do ma'am all right when you are going to the ups store you don't have to go to any drop box or anywhere else you need to go to the shipment center the ups store okay you know where it is oh yes i do know do you know the CP, ups ups store okay right and the service which you need to use it should be overnight madam the service it should be overnight after 10 am okay Isn't deliver that, this package after 10 am that's a little bit more expensive okay? though i i think i'll just do a standard delivery no 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 what i'm telling you standard that expense you don't have to pay from your pocket okay i don't i am going to give you a compensation of 200 dollars in order to sending this package to this address overnight okay 200 But yeah i'm giving you 200 dollars as a compensation just to make sure that you don't have to pay any single penny from your pocket okay okay well, all right how are you going to give me so the do you have a are you going to give it to me in two I separate payments to... or is it going to be one one time payment of 200 one one time payment this one time we, payment in your account if you remember account, correctly mother. this is how we got into this mess to begin with yes. okay If you were thinking, ma'am, then you can just take two hundred dollars from that cash. Okay, you can take out two hundred dollars from that cash and send it to me eighteen thousand three hundred. You can just take out two hundred dollars from the cash. Well, what about the gas? This is going to cost me a lot of gas money. Gas also. So that's why I'm giving you two hundred dollars, madam. Can't you make it three hundred? Okay, you can just take out three hundred dollars from that cash and no, send I, it to me I eighteen thousand two hundred. Make it four hundred. 
Four hundred? Okay, I'm going to give you four hundred then. And I can just take it out of the box? Okay. Yeah, you can take out four hundred dollars from the cash. What about All right from how, the box? Well, I mean, why stop now? What, can I just get five hundred out? Ma'am, please don't say don't say like this. We are not afford that five hundred dollars now. Okay, so I can take four hundred out. Ma'am, right now you have packed the box, so you are going to. Uh, destroy that box and you are going to unpack it and then you are going to take out the cash of $400. Right. Because you gave me permission. Yeah, I, I, isn't your okay, senior so manager right going to know it. about that? Ma Once I, you... I can bear that $400. I can bear that $400 from my pocket. So right now do one thing. Don't waste any time, madam. We are running out of time now. Simply take out the cash. $400 from that cash, take out $400, okay? And then pack it once again, okay? Then pack it once again, get the alu uh, aluminum foil paper, okay? All right, and the envelope, put the cash, $18,100, put the cash inside the envelope, then use the aluminum foil, okay? Wrap it properly, then put it inside the box, then use the duct tape, What's and that? stick it properly, then, sorry? I, I'm sorry, your voice was breaking. What did you say? Yes, what I'm telling you that... Because you what should I say that I'm that sending box? it? We don't want the people to look inside the box and see all this money. Yes, they are not going to see that. That's why I told you that you need to use the aluminum foil, okay? Oh, okay. That is why I told you that you need to use the aluminum foil. Okay. That means if you are going to use that aluminum foil, they will not come to know that you have the cash. Simply tell them it's some documents which I'm sending to this location. It's an important documents, okay, inside the box. All right. Okay. And then I, all I have to do is say right. that I'm... Why don't I say I'm sending something else? Because if I say I'm sending 18000 they're going to look inside the box and take it out. They'll yes, that, that is why. That is why. They might be, they might be steal they'll, that. They'll take yes, their money and run away with it. They will take it. the money. Yes, that's why I'm telling you, do not make them feel that inside the box you put the cash, okay? Simply tell them it's a document, okay? It's a... Yeah. If they will ask you what you have inside the box, simply tell them it's some urgent paperwork which I'm sending to this location, okay, to my what friend. If I, what if I said All I'm right? sending uh, something else that mm -hmm. will make them not want to what, look? What, yeah, what, what you are going to tell them, what something else you have. If they will ask you what you have, what you are going to tell them then. Well, we don't want anybody to look inside the box. Yes, so that is why I'm telling you. Do you have any idea what you are going to tell them exactly? What if I said it was dangerous chemicals or something like that? That way they won't look inside. No, no, don't. Do, don't tell them it's a dangerous chemical, ma'am. Because it might be blast if you're going to tell them it's a, some, some dangerous chemical. Oh. They, were, they are going to be scared, madam. Well, I don't think they're going to look inside of the box if I tell them it's dangerous chemicals. Don't tell them it's a dangerous chemical, ma'am. Tell them some goods, some, some materials which I'm sending to this location. Use any, tell any materials, okay? It's an important materials I have. I am sending to this location, all right? I'm just going to say it's dangerous chemicals. Don't open. I'm going to put a sticker on it, a Mr. Yuck sticker, so nobody goes looking around. Or else simply tell them, okay, tell them, simply tell them it's a, a fragile, okay? It's fragile. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Yuck. I have some of those stickers at okay. my place. I'll put the Mr. Yuck sticker on okay. it, and then nobody okay, will look yeah. inside okay. of it after I tell them it's bleach and other various chemicals.
Nobody's gonna open this box. Okay, oh. Okay, oh, that's wonderful then, okay? Okay. Now, first, you need to take out the cash. Take out the cash. $400 from the envelope. Take out, all right, take out the cash. $400 from the envelope. Okay. Once you do that, do, and then pack it once again properly. You need to pack it properly. What's that? Then again, you need to pack properly, okay? Hold on, I'm getting my money. Hello? Yes, Mama, I'm here. Oh, you, did you say I could take 500? Okay, you can take it 500 then. Take it. If you okay. want, if you wish to, if, if you wish 500, you can take it 500 then. Okay. You need to give your best to send this package successfully to our location, okay? Oh, trust me, I'm, I'm trying my level best, sir. I, I... Yes, I had... I know, ma'am, you are trying your level best, okay? And it should be, once you pack, once you packed, let me know, okay? Once you pack the package, let me know, all right? Oh, it's packed. I got, it. I got my money out, and I packed it back up with the tape. Yeah, and have you wrapped that envelope with the foil paper, uh, aluminum foil paper? Oh, I already did that. I, I already did that. Okay. So then tomorrow now you I'll need take to this write... down to the UPS store and I'll ship it out tomorrow. Does that work? No, ma'am. Do it right now so that we can receive this tomorrow in our location. Well, three-day shipping Do it is right gonna, now. You're, you're going to have to wait. No. Right? Three-day shipping is it's not three day. days. It should be... Ma'am, it, sh it should be overnight, not three days, ma'am. You need to use the service overnight. I can't. It's that's too expensive. That's why I have given you... It's too expensive. Ma'am, that's can't. why I have given you 500... Ma'am, that is why I have given you $500. Look, look, it's too expensive, Mother Chod. What's that? Ma'am, that is why I have given you... $500 as a compensation... In order to send this money by overnight okay that is why i have given you five hundred dollars so that you don't have to pay from your pocket I am i'm not paying, paying that this out of my pocket so why you were about i'm gonna do the standard so delivery not paying... and that's it because i don't i don't have do I'm not, not gonna... do standard delivery standard that delivery. is why i am paying you i am paying you for that it's too expensive, so I am paying you that, ma'am. It's too expensive. I, I'm just going to pay the the standard shipping rate. Ma'am, why you are why you are worried about it's too expensive? The money I have given it to you, five hundred dollars. Whatever it costs you, I have given you five hundred dollars. You just they will charge you two hundred dollars for overnight service, and you can keep three hundred dollars, madam. Well, I can do. and then I can do the standard delivery and save your company some of that money. No, do you, you don't have to save, ma'am. I can. You don't have to save because it will, ma'am. In this period of time, in these three days, ma'am, we are going to lose our eighteen thousand dollars. I'm not worried about that five hundred. I'm worried about that eighteen thousand dollars. I don't well, want to lose eighteen thousand dollars, ma'am. Well, how how okay. long does it take if I send it overnight air? It will take by tomorrow. By tomorrow, I'm going to receive this parcel in California between ten after ten a.m. I'm going to receive. We are going to receive this parcel after ten a.m. tomorrow in California time. Well, I'm sorry, but it takes a little bit longer for the trucks to get there. There's a lot of wildfires from what I heard. It doesn't matter, but you need to use the service overnight after 10 a.m. You need to mention this. These two things, you need to mention this. The service should be overnight after 10 and it should be signature required. Signature required, okay? How much time it will take? Sometime next week is what I'm thinking. I can't, um, I can't do it overnight air just right now, this second. 
Ma'am, you have to do it, madam. Otherwise, you are going to lose your money. What's that? Think about your money, ma'am. If you were going to use standard delivery, all right? So after three days, you are going to get your money then. The money which you have in your account. Right. And that's when you're going to get it after I ship it to you. Standard delivery. That is why I'm telling you, you need to use overnight so that you will get your money and I'll get my money by tomorrow in California time, okay? So you need to use the service should be overnight. Overnight after 10 a.m. And it should be signature required, okay? It should be signature required, all right? Okay, anything else? Hello? No, that's it. I okay. am holding the line for you. Get yourself ready. Have you packed? Have you packed properly? Have you packed the package properly, madam? I think so. I did it like you told me to. Yes, so just, I am holding the line for you. Get into the car. Go to the UPS store. And it should be UPS store, not the drop box, okay? You know where is the UPS store, right? No, but I know where that drop box is. Is that where you want me to take it? No, you don't have to go to the drop box. Don't go to the drop box. You need to go to the UPS store, the shipment center, the UPS store. Oh, well, the, the main drop box. UPS That's store, a good right? idea. That's good thinking, deputy. We're going to have to put this in the drop box. That way I won't have to explain nothing. No, no, listen to me, ma'am, what to do, okay? I will let you know what to do, ma'am, okay? Okay? Like, you... Okay. What you have to do, ma'am, you did, have to go to the UPS he, what store. Did he, what did he Please? said? No, you don't have to go to the drop box, ma'am. Actually, why? I am telling you why, ma'am. Because if you are going to put the, in the uh, drop box, okay, the money will not come tomorrow, okay? And if you go to the shipment area, and if you go uh, there and tell him, like, I just want to send this money, okay, uh, just send this box, and they will get money uh, like this box tomorrow morning a.m., okay? The morning 10 a.m., after 10 a.m., okay? You but have how to do I do that from the drop box? I don't think there's anybody there. No, no, you, you, you don't go there. You don't have to go to the drop box area. No, you I'll have do to it, go but to it's going to wait area. until tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, no, I will give you the address where you have to go, what store you have to go. That's why I'm telling you, just come near to the computer. I am going to give you the address where you have to go right now. What, just come near to the computer, so I will give you the address You're not where listening you to me have what I'm to go right to you. now. My oven is on and it's preheated. Did you hear? Uh, it's preheated now. Just off it. Just off it. Off, off it. it. Off it. Just close everything. Yes, close it. I already off owned it. Close it and everything I don't want to and come it. near to the computer. Off, off it, off it, and come near to the computer. You're just gonna have to wait for my I'm potatoes. I'm talking about to get eighteen thousand dollars. I put I put my no, baked potatoes no, in no. there, and they, I'm, it's gonna take like an I'm hour and a half to cook. I'm talking. I will I will give to you. I can't just off it right now. I will give to you. I will give to you everything. I will give you everything. No, you're come not. near to the computer first. You're not gonna give Come me near to the computer. I will give to you everything. No. I will give. Can we just go right now? Just go right now to the UPS store. No, and I got give this package to the person. I got and potatoes, tell him. bacon in the oven. I can't. I can't go right now. Want my house to burn down? Then what time you go? I don't know. What time is good for you in the morning? Okay. What I'm going to do, okay, I'm just going to block everything. I'm going to take out all the money from the bank account. You have above uh, 20,000 into your account, and I got all the details of your credit card. 
What's I'm going to take out the money from there also. No, you can't do that. You can't. That's illegal. Yes, you, I'm gonna... going to do right now. Yes, it's illegal. No, because it's... you want to keep my money. That's illegal, If you're sir. not going to send my money, I'm going to fuck you. What? What did you just say? You're a greedy me? lady, ma'am. You are a greedy lady. No, I'm not. You are a greedy lady. I am going to fuck you if you're not going to send my money back. Don't do that. Don't talk to me like this. I'm a prestigious customer. Yes. You can't talk to me like that. What did I because do? Because you're not sending my money right now. I, 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 I don't Go know right now, otherwise you're going to lose everything. You are going to lose everything if you're not sending my money through a box. You are going to lose everything if you're not sending this box right now. Leave no. the house right now. I, I'll do it in the morning, I promise. Otherwise, That's... you lose. No. That I'm promising you. If you're not sending my money right now, then you are going to lose everything right now. I am promising you. Come near to the computer, give you the address where you have to go right now. And if you not go right now, then I'm going to take out all the money from the bank account. Then you're going to lose everything what you have. You can Also from your credit card. And I, so I, yes, I get do that. If you're not sending my money, I will do that right now. Well, so I... send me my money right now. Otherwise, you lose everything right now. If you freeze my accounts, I'm going to keep your 18000 that I have in the box. What do you think of that? Is, yeah, I'll have to you pay have, my rent somehow. I have you more than eighteen thousand. Uh huh. I have more than eighteen thousand. I have your eighteen thousand dollars. I have your twenty four thousand dollars, and also your credit card money also. Oh my I God. have lots of money from you. Uh, what if I just call you have the to UPS right people now. and I ask them to hold the trucks? I'll say hold the trucks. No. I'm coming in with a package. Again, you're. Again, you're not listening to me. Again, you're not listening to me. It's just what you have to... to do, you don't listen to me, okay? No, no, I'm listening. I, I just have, I'm trying to come to an agreement. Uh, uh, at five o'clock, my potatoes will be cooked, and I'll be able to eat my dinner. I can still get down there in time, can't I? So, if you're clo if the UPS store will close, What's so why you are Who going to the five o'clock then? Who is this? This is James. This is James once again. Oh, hi, James. Ma'am, why you are doing this to us, madam? You don't want to save my job, or you don't want to save my life, madam? No, you know, I do. I'm running out of time. From last, from last two hours, you have been talking to us, but you are not, not. We are not in the. We are not getting any result from you, ma'am. Well, I have that money in the box, and I'm going to send it to you, I, and I'm going to send it out, standard delivery, yes, so and take it to the drop think... box and everything. Like uh, that guy was telling me. Okay, he let told me, me to you. take it to the drop box, and let I'm, I'm just like thinking, I got these potatoes in the oven, and I can't just go leaving my okay, oven turned you. on and drive down to the damn UPS box. It's going to have to wait till like 5 o'clock. That's it. Ma'am. That's not forever. You know, it's just like can you for read an hour. This? Can you can you read this this one? Can you read it? The UPS store open till seven. And can you see latest drop off ground five p.m. This is the last time. I know. Last That's why I'm going to leave morning. my place so, at five o'clock to get there in time. You you just I'll take a rest. My... I'm going to call you after half an hour. Well, you just call take me, a rest. I'm going to call you after half an hour. Call me back at 5 o'clock. We'll make sure we get it in there in time. But you need to go to this address, ma'am. This address. 102E Kimberley Road, Devonport. I'll have to wait till tomorrow you need to, go to get to, to that this one. address. If I wait till tomorrow, I can get there. Okay. You can, we, we can wait till tomorrow then. Don't do it today. We, we can wait till tomorrow then. Okay, and then I can okay. get it in the mail in the morning? No, you need to go to that address. I'm going to call you in the morning. At what time you are going to do that in the morning? At what time you are going to do that in the morning? Oh, jeez. 
well, tomorrow I have to wake up and I have to, there's a lot of stuff I have, to, I have to take out the trash, but I could, uh, think of like 8 or 9 o'clock, 10, 10 o'clock a.m. In the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning you are going to do that, right? Right. Okay, if, in the morning, 10 o'clock you are going to do that, right? Right. Okay. So leave it as it is. Do not shut down your computer. Don't do anything. And keep that package in a safe place so that nobody can see that, okay? Keep no. that package in a safe place, okay? It's on my kitchen table. It's safe and secure. Okay, all right. So just leave it as it is for today. I'm going to call you back tomorrow in the morning. And you need to go to that store, the UPS store tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, ma'am. Thank you so much. Leave it as it is. Do not touch your computer. I'm going to close everything and leave your computer as it is. Till tomorrow, do not shut down your computer, ma'am. Okay? Okay. All right, ma'am. So thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. You just take a rest. We are leaving it for to today. We are going to do it tomorrow. All right? Okay. Okay. All right, ma'am. It's lovely talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. I hope. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm spelling it out again. B R U A U.